Now at five new information about Sunday's mass shooting in the short north where two, 10 people were hurt. Tonight, Columbus police offering a $10,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest in the shooting. The suspected driver of a car involved in the scene surrendered yesterday evening, but police say they still don't know who exactly fired the shots. Thanks for joining us at five. I'm Andrew Kinsey and I'm Yolanda Harris. Just three hours ago, Assistant Chief Lashana Potts addressed questions about how that suspected driver got away from police. I think officers did exactly what they were trained to do um, in this instance. And, in, and instead of us talking about what they didn't do or did do, we're asking the community to step up, help become a partner, which they have, but also hold these criminals accountable. Well, tonight we have live team coverage of the response to this shooting. So we're going to start with 10 TV's Tara Jabor, who spoke to those neighbors and businesses close to the scene. She joins us now live from the short north. And Tara, what did they tell you? Well, Yolanda and Andrew, that shooting, that shooting happened right behind me here in the short north, and we spoke to neighbors who live one street over. Now, they woke up on Sunday morning to violence right outside their front door. Ring camera shows CPD officers running after what appears to be the suspect in a white Civic in the short north shooting that left 10 people injured. Matt DeThomas and his fiance heard everything. We got home around midnight. We decided to watch a movie on the couch and both awoke to uh, alarms and sirens at 2.30 with a lot of noise and shouting outside. DeThomas says he looked outside and then checked his camera to see what exactly was going on. It's scary anytime you hear sirens right outside your house. Um, one unfortunate part is we've been hearing it more and more recently over the last few months. About a block from the shooting is out of the closet. Dominic Dansby, the manager, says the violence is overwhelming. She says lately she hasn't been feeling as safe walking around the neighborhood. But now it's like I find myself kind of like looking over my shoulder or just kind of having like an extra set of eyes, you know, open just to see if like there's any activity going on. Dansby wants more security in the area and she's even considering having on-site security because of the recent violence. An extra layer of security is needed at this time. For DeThomas, he wants to see some changes with the bars and restaurants in the area. Maybe discovering the root of the problem or implementing different codes and policies to let people in and out of the bars in short north. The biggest thing is, you know, there's one thing with all these shootings. They're happening after 2.30, after 2 o'clock. The people we spoke to say they just hope to feel more safe in the short north soon. We want it to feel safe. We want to feel at home here and we want people to still come and see how cool the city is. It is a good community, you know, like everyone's here to work or hang out and everyone wants to feel safe. And police are still, of course, looking for that suspect. They're encouraging anyone with information to call CPD. Reporting live in downtown Columbus, Tara Jabor, 10TV 